Hello everyone, my name is Nyla Shea and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And as the title and the thumbnail may suggest, today we are going to be looking at Troom Troom and all of their various channels and other things, I guess, Troom Troom related. This video is just very simple, it's not going to be anything too wild. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen a lot of other Troom Troom based content like you see creators like Jarvis Johnson, um, Danny Gonzalez, Curtis Connor, Drew Gooden, um, a lot of other YouTubers have like covered Troom Troom and all their various channels and how stupid they are and blah 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 but I decided to do my own video on it because I was just like why not? I have an opinion too and I just want to speak it you know. Before we get started I just want to admit I want to say something. And I might regret this, but I have to say it. I used to like Shroom Shroom. Yeah. I was like a kid. A kid, let's clarify that. I was like 10, but I did like Shroom Shroom. And I liked, I liked their videos, and I liked their content, and I actually thought it was useful. So that's why this video is titled what it is, because I did love Shroom Shroom a long time ago. It was so long ago that I loved Shroom Shroom. But I'm coming back because I want to say goodbye. This is my closure. This, this is how I'm gonna get my closure from Troom Troom. I'm gonna make this video, I'm gonna upload it, and then it's gonna be out of my life forever because I can't hold on to this feeling anymore. I can't let them do this to me, okay? Troom Troom, I've gotta let you go. So in light of that, we're gonna look at one of their, some of their most popular videos and react to them on all four channels. And just so you guys know kind of what the channels are about, let me read them to you. We have Trum Trum, as you know, Trum Trum Food, um, Trum Trum Wow, and then Trum Trum Select. Uh, let me get my calculator, actually. I'm just, let's just, let's just do the math here, just to see if I can get the calculator thing. Oh, I can get it off, okay. Let's just see that they're, they're combined following, if I remember how to turn this on. I figured it out, sorry, it took me a second, but I got it. So that means that Troom Troom, as a company, has a combined following of 37.69 million subscribers. That's a lot, to say the least, especially on YouTube. So I'm gonna go back to their videos and see why they have as many subscribers as they do and see where the original appeal was at and why people like Troom Troom in the first place. First channel we're going to is Troom Troom. We're gonna just look at the main channel, the one I used to watch a lot, and we're gonna, we're gonna see where the appeal is. The latest video was 23 hours ago. They're still getting consistent views, as you can see. To, so let's see, 183, 117, 171, 210, 155. So they're getting consistent views. Not as many as they got back then. Like they used to get like a million every video a couple, like a while ago, maybe one, two years ago. Um, But for this channel, it's not necessarily good. I mean, they have like 23 million people. They should be at least getting a million views per video, but they're not dead. So someone's still watching them. But everything I'm seeing is pure just, it screams, this video, this channel is for children, please watch my videos. It's so, it's so colorful and wild and nonsensical that any adult or even like a teenager like me, <laughs> or even a teenager just doesn't know how to make sense of what they're looking at because there's no way you can try and justify any of what I'm seeing. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't know what to click on. I'm just so confused right now. So this video I watched has 130 million views four years ago. So I was like 11. Um, and this was 14 weird ways to sneak food into class. Starting off, 
just already like I, I know we're only like 15 seconds in but just starting off this I don't know how to explain it it just feels like a stupid channel to a kids sorry flip my words it feels like a stupid intro to a kids channel with the like the little like freaking synth music going in the back and the is that even what that is I don't know and the little cuts everywhere different stuff that's going on I'm so confused. I I was just staring for a second and my mind was empty because I didn't know what I was looking at. When I was a kid, this was so cool, but like 9, 15 seconds in and I just don't know what's going on at all. Do you dream of a portion of french fries or a juicy cheeseburger during your long classes? Take bright notebooks shaped like a pack of french fries and a cheeseburger. We've shown how to make them in our previous videos. Miss Smith wears glasses. She thinks we've got McDonald's here. We assure her it's nothing like that. It's just our weird notebooks. It's a kind of Mac school. While Miss Smith is cleaning her eyeglasses, we change the notebooks for the real snacks. Mmm, what crispy french fries and a tasty cheeseburger. Are you eating again? Oh yes, it's your notebooks. Okay, continue writing, girls. They are so creative. No, they are so not. They are not at all creative. Did I move my mouse? They are not at all creative. That was actually dumb. Once again, even if a teacher has glasses, it's so obvious that that's food. And I get it, people have crazy, wacky notebooks or whatever, but that was very obviously a pack of french fries. And she literally took a bite out of her notebook. Her teacher's just not going to question that she ate a piece of her notebook. And was like, mm, mm, this notebook sure is good. That's that's the only thing I can think about now is the why of it all. Why are you doing this? Why is this a hack? Why do you need to know how to do this? And why did anyone ever think of this? It doesn't make sense. This isn't supposed to be a rant video, but I just can't help it because it doesn't make any sense. And I don't understand when you would ever need to do something like this. I get it, you're hungry. Lunch is 30 minutes away. You can wait, babes. You can wait. But these are grown adults, by the way. They're, they're, they're probably, it's supposed to be at college in this point, at this point. So they should have been through maybe, what, like five, ten, almost ten years of school in their life? They should know that, their, that lunch, you can wait. You have studying to do. You want to get that, you want to get that job. You want to ace that test. You can wait 30 minutes for lunch, babes. You don't have to eat during class. And we all know why you're not supposed to. Every hack from this video was incredibly impractical and made not an ounce of sense and I see why the views are dropping Troom Troom. I love you to death babes but that's just not it hon. Next channel of Troom Troom's that we will be looking at today is Troom Troom Food. I have never heard of this channel ever never in my life and I've never seen anyone else cover this channel so this must be like a fairly new one. I have to look to see when their oldest video is but they are who we will be looking at today. I'm not even going to talk about what I just saw on screen because I don't feel like it's worth talking about. KFC is all about chicken, so we'll need meat. A lot of meat. We're going big, so let's use turkey meat instead. I'm going to stop it here because I just want to say something. Um, I'm all for a good cooking show. I love cooking shows. I like watching them. I can't cook myself, but I love to watch other people cook and make masterful dishes. Um, but why in the world would you need to make giant food? Like, why? I know we haven't even seen anything yet, but that whole intro sequence, I was just wondering. I was like, why? That's it. Just why. That's all. That's all I had to say. It was just why. Cut turkey filet into even slices. For the marinade, squeeze two oranges. Add an ounce of salt, pour in two and a half ounces of soy sauce, and stir till the salt dissolves. I don't know how much longer I can take at this video. I'm only two minutes in. This video is 10 minutes. I'm not watching this whole video. I can tell you that for sure. The narrator's voice is so boring. I'm sorry, but my gosh. Please, it's 
torture. I'm just staring, just waiting for it to end. I'm sorry. I feel like I might be slightly biased, and I probably am. But oh my gosh. What is this? What is this? What happened to my love? <laughs> they changed so much. Like four years without me, and they've changed so much. I just can't believe this. Everything was so different back then. Everything was so simple. And now what is this? This is like, this video is like two years old. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why he's making this. And I don't, I've never not wanted to eat more in my life. Like I'm hungry and I never not wanted to eat more in my life. I'm not that huge of a fan of turkey anyway. So that kind of turned me off of that. But like honestly, I have more entertainment watching my mom cook. I, I like watching her cook more because there's a life to it. Everything just feels so lifeless and generic. I don't know why. Maybe I'm being maybe I'm being biased. I'm gonna give this some more time and see if maybe I'm just being biased because of all the other trim trim videos. Coat the turkey in the breading and then dip it in water. Do you do that? Do it once again. Why are there just random boxes of cornflakes in the back? There's no such thing as too much meat. Yes, there is. Oh, God. Wow. Look on to fry. Do it in a deep pan, or you can fit in 14 pounds of vegetable oil. 14? It's for... You don't need to do that. Where the air fryer at? Man, this gives me chills. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Once you're done doing that, you'll have 30 pounds of pure homemade meaty happiness. Yum! Living a dream. talk about it. Uh oh. No. I'm I'm drained. You can't even I don't want to talk about it. I don't even know if I love them anymore. I might just have to change this video title. I, I I can't explain what I've witnessed. I can't explain but I feel as though a part of me has now died. I never felt the way I did just then. Ever and you ever get that feeling where you're watching T V and you're you're not really doing anything. You're just kind of staring at the screen. Like, it's not registering. You're staring at the screen. You hear what's being said. You're kind of thinking about it. But for the most part, you're just like, you're so, you're in another place. You don't know where, but you're just somewhere else. That's what I felt like. That whole that whole five minutes. I didn't watch the whole thing. That whole five minutes, I, I, I was staring. I was in another place. So I went back for a second. I was in another place and I had to go back to maybe help myself. I, I, it's not that content is horrible. It's just, it's not for me. I, I've grown up and I've matured from that. I'm older now and I've found that that content, it's not for me. It's not who I am anymore. It's who I was, but it's not who I am. So welcome to Trim Trim Select. I know I've, I haven't really been saying the channel names as I'm supposed to, but welcome to Trim Trim Select. Yada yada yada. Excuse me. Video, video, other stuff. Okay, let's watch some other stuff. So yeah, here we go. This one has popular uploads. So let's see. Popular uploads. So their most popular upload is 20 magic tricks that you can do with 53 million views. All right, let's watch it. Bro, I'm sorry, but not the Roblox. <laughs> Even my chair to laugh. Not the Roblox music. Come on. This is like Clone Tycoon type stuff. Does anyone remember Clone Tycoon? Because my sister and I love that game on Roblox. This is Clone Tycoon blasting full volume for an hour. Not the Clone Tycoon. It was four years ago, but I'm sorry. I just had to comment on that. <laughs> 
The world is full of magic. Do you have any doubts? Place a coin and a glass on the table. Cover the glass with a cloth and place it on top of the coin. Evanesco! The coin is gone. This is some Hogwarts level magic. Cover the glass again and lift it up a bit. The coin has suddenly reappeared. Intrigued? We'll tell you the secret behind this magical disappearance. Get a sheet of paper. Cut out a hole the size of the glass. Glue the sheet of paper to the glass. Now, you know where all that money disappeared. So like, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of content I like to see. Magic tricks, that's what I mean. Like, that, like for the back to school hack video, all that is just like a really stupid kind of thing you can do at a party that you know, everyone like might be drunk or just having fun and everyone will just laugh at it and it'll be a grand time and you oh okay this haha -ha, really stupid and funny and move on these are like magic tricks that you could do at a party and actually look cool you know so so far out of all the channels i've seen so far this video from truth and select has got to be like the best one out of all of them so far once again not gonna watch the whole video this video is art my video is already long enough but uh you get the gist um I think we're gonna stop here for this one for the Trim Trim Select. But yeah, so far of all the Trim Trims I've loved before, I've loved Trim Trim Select the most. I guess if we're gonna throw that word around, I like this one the most. They, I haven't. This mind you, this is the only video I'm seeing from Trim Trim Select, but it's not bad. It's it's good, useful. Oh, hold on, it's good, useful party tricks. Something fun for you to do in front of your friends for a good laugh and a little bit of amazement. And that's it. And I like that. Uh, they're keeping it nice and simple on True Dream Select because that's what we like to see. So let us move on. Let us, uh, let's move on to the final channel. If I can remember what it was. I'm going to have to go back to True Dream Main. I think it was WoW. Did I have to go there? I don't think it went to WoW. All right, hold on. I'm going to double check really quickly. But I, yes, I think it was WoW. Food select. Yep, the last one is gonna be wow. So Trum Trum oh, is Trum Trum Wow. So I haven't seen any of their stupid like secret room, poor room, poor girl, rich girl. I'm not into that. And that's gonna drain me worse than the cooking video. So we're just not gonna pay attention to that. Final channel, we can do this. Here it is. Wait, this is the one. I think Jarvis Johnson reacted to one of these movie hack videos. But once again, seeing as this one is the most popular, it's the one we're going to react to. So let's just click on it. You can come in. What a nice little girl, but I won't let you come in with this candy. That's all right, my dear child. Let's go. Go until I change my mind. Don't be upset, my little girl. You still have sweets. My sweets! It's your time! You're my sunshine! Oh, these kids! Are you going to the cinema with your child? Don't forget to bring such a toy! The narration... Um... On this channel, was like the other one. I didn't realize till now, but the narration all across all the channels is very generic and uncomfortable, and sometimes it's really awkward. Like, I know you heard that. Like, for a good solid ten seconds, the narrator didn't say a single thing. My sweet, it's your time. Which is fine. But then when they did talk, I was like uncomfortable because I was, like I, like very easily forgot that there was a narrator, and he's talking. And I was like, "Oh, you're back. Oh, okay." And that whole thing was just so uncomfortable. I was like that one guy in the corner. Ooh, No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Let's get started. So, what do we have here? My sweets. I knew it. I'm so sick and tired of this, bro. My elementary librarian. I really loved him. He was super cool. 
he taught me to always respect books and I did and I have for a really long time I didn't I just now started like writing in my books this year but I highlight my books now but it's just like highlight my favorite quotes but yeah for well, years all I would do is read it and that was it if I found a favorite quote I would just think it in my head and then forget about it so I'd be like oh I can just find it next time I read it so I, I've been very careful about how I mess up a book because once you like mark in it or you write in it that brings the book's values down and it depreciates the book and all the other stuff I don't like when I see those hacks where you have to like physically cut into a book to do a hack and it's mostly food related or like game show like, like oh when the when the wife is home but she doesn't want me to watch the football game on the TV type stuff stuff like that I don't know I don't like seeing that and also the fact that she poses a bookie nerd or a bookie girl like oh I just want to see if the book is better than the movies I do that all the time like example by, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be two days from now, whatever. But I'm reading Where the Crawdads Sing now because the new movie for that book is coming out in two weeks' time on July 15th. I have the date right. So I'm right now, I'm reading the first book. I'm two chapters in. I'm not going to bring, I'm not, listen, if I were to go to the movies to see this, I don't know. If I were to go to the movies to see this, I'm not going to bring the entire book with me to see the movie. I'm gonna leave that at home. Like, what am I supposed to do at the moment with the movie? Like, a part comes up in the book, in the movie that happened in the book, and I flip to that part and be like, hmm, that didn't happen in the book. Like, I'm not about to sit there and do that. I'm gonna leave the book at home, watch the movie, and then come back home and talk to myself for 30 minutes about the differences between the book and the movie, as I do all the time. I do it all the time. But that just felt ridiculous and stupid. I just, sorry, that triggered me a little bit to see that. I'm just like, you didn't have to bring the book in the first place, and the fact that you cut into it like, Little Women is a classic. I've never read it. I'm going to eventually. But that's a classic. And the fact you cut into a, a classic book just to put some candy in it that's only going to last you, like, five minutes just felt a little ridiculous. Well, that is my video. And that was to all the Trim Trims I've loved before. Um, there are four channels. I didn't hear the last one till like, today. But just to say my opinion, my overall view, this video is over, well, this recording is over an hour long. Um, just to say my opinion of everything I've witnessed today and everything I've seen. Horrible. Couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't, never. I'm just, I'm surprised that I ever loved this, loved one of these channels before. I'm surprised that I, I watched as a kid and said, yeah, this is good content. This is this is good. This is what I want to see in my feed. I've moved on from you, Trim Trim. I loved you, and I'm moving on to newer and brighter things. So, uh, yeah, on that note, subscribe to Jarvis Johnson, because uh, he's the reason why I made this video, and he's also the reason why I grew up and realized that Trim Trim was dumb. So, that's basically it. I'm going to go eat uh, food and forget that I did this until I have to edit this video. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We, I think for the most part, we've all moved on from them and we've all met new loves. So like one, two, three, go. Woohoo, if that's even a channel, I think it is. And I will be covering those in the future, just not now. I need to recover from this video. But thank you for watching this and move on with me. Thank you for following me in my journey for closure. I really appreciate it. And I've gotten my closure and now I have moved on. And I can say for sure to thank you. All the true truths I've loved before. Thank you for giving me the chance to love you and learn from you. And I appreciate you for that. Okay, everyone, have a good day.